Looping is a very important concept in programming, and it basically repeats a block of code over and over again until the loop's expression becomes false. So while the expression is true, it'll execute a block of code, and each time it executes that block of code, that's called an iteration. And usually loops have a loop variable which counts the number of loop iterations that are used for controlling the loop. Also, you can optionally use a sentinel value which controls the end of the loop. So let's just jump into some examples and check out while loops in Python. Let's create a very basic while loop that just does some counting. So let's create a variable that's called var and set that to one. And then to create a while loop, we just say while followed by an expression while far is less than or equal to 10 colon and then that's our expression so while this variable is less than or equal to 10 it will print the value of far okay so let's run this code and there's going to be a problem just so you know and let's see what that problem is so notice that it's just printing one forever and it doesn't stop. So to stop your program from doing this, which is called an infinite loop, click the little stop button. Okay. So what's happening is that it's printing one and then it's checking is var still less than or equal to 10? And that's true. It's always gonna be true unless something changes that, that variable called var. So let's change it by saying var plus equals one. That will add one to the value of var. Or you could have said var is assigned to var plus one. Either way would work. Now this will break out of our infinite loop and it'll increment or add one to the value of var at every loop iteration. And then it prints out the numbers. You can see one through 10, all the way to 10. So that is a very basic while loop. Let's try another while example where we're eating a sandwich and we're gonna ask the user, are you hungry? Yes or no, let's give them the prompts on what we want them to answer. Is, we'll set the variable is hungry to input, user input. Then we'll check in our while loop, while is hungry is equal to yes. If that is true, we will print take a bite. Okay, so that's gonna give us a similar problem like we had before, check this out. Are you still hungry? Yes. And it's taking a bite forever and ever. And that, that's another infinite loop. So not only do we wanna take a bite, we wanna repeat these two steps. Ask if you're hungry, and then grab another user input. So let's just copy those and paste them down there. Now check this out. Are you are you hungry? Yes. Okay, we took a bite. Are you hungry? Yes. We took another bite. Are you hungry? Yes. Took another bite. Are you hungry? Not anymore. I'm full? No. And then the program ended. We could also end the program by saying print. I'm full. And actually, you know what? We can't print out that single quote because it's thinking that it's closing this single quote. But you can escape that with the backslash problem solved. Or you can just surround it with double quotes instead. That'll also fix it. Let's try it again. Are you hungry? Yes. Are you hungry? No. Then it breaks out of the loop and then it continues to the next statement and it says, I'm full. And also in this while loop, no or anything other than yes is considered our sentinel value. It's what ends the loop.